sport of boxing, male dominated. Men don't want to see women get bloody in a ring. We're not as excited about seeing a woman knock another woman out as we're going to see a man knock another man out. Boxing is definitely a man's sport. It's inhumane, it's sick, it's violent, it's incredibly dysfunctional, and I'm in it. <laughs> Women's boxing for years has sort of been looked at as a novelty. That has changed, and Mia was one of the pioneers of that change. They've got something in their mindset or system that almost pushes it to another level. You can't teach a person to be brave. You can't teach a person to be confident. She has that power within. It takes a certain flavor to be the champion of the world, and she's got that flavor. I felt like I was making a statement. Being able to be a playboy and be a fighter at the same time, that's uh, remarkable. Her purse has doubled her, just her fame was just so huge. She don't seem like a boxer, she don't look like a boxer. I was in awe of Mia, honestly. And then I found out about her and it was over. <laughs> I'm very scared and worried when I see my mom, um, when, when I see her losing in the ring. Boxers are at the receiving end of, of thousands of blows to their head over a career. I realized I'm risking my life, and for what? I had to deal with some serious mental health issues. She is fighting stigma, because she tells her story everywhere. I have OCD and I'm on medication for it. The fact that she has been open about her situation and her family's situation, that takes a lot of courage. I love what Mia's doing and I love what people who have that celebrity do with it when they focus the spotlight on this subject because otherwise the silence is deafening. She felt so anxious and so devastated about her son developing schizophrenia. My biggest fear is that I will outlive my, my son. <laughs> She's a good person. And the world is a better place because of her, because she definitely has much more to tell than what's right here.